I've already walked 10 miles to get here and I feel defeated, but I'm gonna turn around. Around mile 16, my knee started hurting. No, I'm telling you, I can't go any further. I can't go any further. I can't go any further. This is a story of determination and true grit, of success and failure, and of our mental struggles. This was my third attempt at Sperry Glacier. Somehow I climbed 480 stories and I still felt defeated. Join me on this journey of tackling fears, overcoming obstacles, and stifling our negative thoughts. I'm Nancy Trecker, and in just one day, I set out to hike from Lake McDonald to Sperry Glacier and back. Join me to see all the ups and downs of this hike for yourself. Let's go. How tall is 1,464 meters? Well, it's just over 4,800 feet, which is just over 480 stories, almost double the height of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker here, back for another adventure. Today, I'm going to the Sperry Glacier. It's going to be a 10 hour hike. So I'm starting off right at Sperry Trailhead and I will continue this is where it gets really steep. I reached a bridge and finally I'm almost at the chalet and then I'm going to spur off and go up to the glacier. So here's what I'm bringing on my day hike. I've got a little day pack um, and it's got my Kula cloth inside of it. I've got water, some snacks, some Kleenexes um, and my headlamp in case I get hiking after dark tonight my charger and cord. <laughs> uh, this is my pack that I keep my bear spray handy at my belt. I also got my foot glide in there and I've got my trekking pole. I'm wearing I'm wearing my hat and my sunglasses. I've got layers um, and I'm not bringing my any layers for my I'm not bringing layers for my pants but I do have my hiking shoes on my boots. I've done my first two miles. I've got 4.6 to go to the chalet, and it's eight miles to the glacier from here. I'm feeling great. So all in all today, I'll do 20 miles, and that will be my biggest day, and especially since the whole first leg of it up the glacier is all up. And except for this part right here, I'm coming down to the creek um, at the junction where you can go to Fish Creek. I've been there before many times. Thank you. 
Right, so it's 10 o'clock. I've been hiking for about three hours. I'm almost at the chalet. I am really improving my hiking speed, uh, especially on the elevations. And I'm kind of proud of myself for that. That's surreal how the lake or the valley, whatever that is, is completely smothered in clouds. What an unbelievable morning. My pole seems to have picked up some goat fur. <laughs> hey guys, it's 11 11. I'm just pulling into Sperry Glacier. I've got 3.7 miles to go to the glacier, but I'm going to stop in for some lunch here at the Sperry Chalet and uh, enjoy some good food before heading up to that glacier up there. Way up there is where I'm going. <laughs> Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good. That food was so good. I forgot to take any footage of it until my cookie was almost done, but it was so tasty. I love to have a little bite to eat on the top of a mountain at the Sperry Chalet. And while I was there, Steve, um, he's the baker there. So he told me that the elevation from here to the glacier is about 1,200 feet. And the first mile and a half is pretty easy. Uh, and then I'm gonna have about three quarters of a mile that is going to suck, his words. <laughs> and, and then I come across a series of lakes um, and steps that are carved out of the mountain and go through that process, repeat. And then I come up to this set of stairs that are literally blown out of the mountain and go over the top of them and I'm at the top. That is what we're in store for.
This place is stunning, stunning. I don't know what to show you first, whether it's the tiny waterfall between the crevices or this giant wall of water, <laughs> or the little stream right in front of me, or the bigger waterfall in front of that, or this immense valley I've got right in front of me. Kind of like another world. hardly see it, but there are some goats over there at the pass. I'm going to try and get up there. This is what he meant by the steps and the pools and the pools and the steps. I'm so glad that fog from this morning lifted and the sky showed its beautiful colors. Now that I'm a little closer, yeah, you can see them. You can make out their goats. I hope they come back. Oh, these stairs are a little steep. And they go up a long way. <laughs> Stairway to heaven. I found me a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Apparently the glacier is over here, over this way, so I'm gonna travel. I really feel defeated. I'm gonna turn around. The glacier really, I every ridge I go over, I think it's just gonna be around that ridge. 
and it's not. <laughs> so I could walk for miles. I've already walked 10 miles to get here and I feel defeated, but I'm gonna turn around and get back to Lake McDonald safely, hopefully before dark, but I do have my headlamp, as I mentioned. Let's go see if those goats are still there at the, at the pass and have a snack. Maybe they'll join us. less than a mile away from Lake McDonald. I am so glad that I have a trekking pole because around mile 16, my knee started hurting back, my right knee. And I'm just trying to take it easy and walk slowly to the trailhead, uh, but it's pretty painful. It's, um, it's probably needing a good stretch out from all this activity that I've been giving it lately. So tell me, did I succeed or did I fail? Sometimes conquering those obstacles is not about the destination, it's about the journey. I hope this inspires you to live life to the fullest and to conquer those obstacles in your life. Thanks for watching. I invite you to comment on your own challenges or experiences <laughs> and check out this video for more inspiration. And until next time, happy trekking.